Sky APC Renaissance tutorial. And today, topic is going to be about creating your own key groups. This is a real simple tutorial that will allow you to create key group programs within your samples. This allows you to map your samples across the keyboard and play them at different pitches and ranges. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to open up a new project. See, everything is blank. So, to create a key group program, first of all, you have to decide what kit or what sound do you want to be in the key group. So, I'm going to go over here and pick, of course, my Be Good Music hot kit. I mean, drum kit. Load it up. Now you don't necessarily have to do your own own kit. This works as individual sounds as well. I'm just doing this for just a quick reference. Okay, so now that I have my drums and stuff loaded up, I'm going to pick a sound that I want key group. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, the be good kit. Okay, so I want this. I want this to play in different. I want this sound map across the keyboard so I can play it at different ranges. So um, right here where it says type, the type of instruments, you're going to click here and go to key group. It's pretty much that simple. Click type, go to key group. That's the program that you want. So, as you can see, there's nothing here. Everything is blank. You know, so you have to go to the program edit menu and pick the sound that you want. And I said I wanted to do the kick. And I said right there. So the kick is now on all these pads. So I can play it at different ranges across the keyboard. Over here, you have your key groove parameters. As you can tell, the sound cuts off every time I press another sound. I don't want that. I want one shot. So it, it, the sound will sustain until the next pad is hit. And that's it. Um, it's pretty much that simple. You can layer up, you can create complex complex key groups if you like. Like I said, you can layer up to four sounds in a key group if you want. That's up to you. And you pretty it's just pretty much self-explanatory. Layer one, you have the parameter to change the the semitone, the fine tune, and the level, or the pan, or the velocity. It's really just that simple. Um, layer two, same parameter, semi-tune, fine-tune, level, pan, velocity, three, fourth, and so forth. Over here is like, this is the master control of all, the whole key group, you know, and I'm pretty sure by now all you guys is familiar with what the master controls do. It controls the overall, overall volume in your group. So... These are the parameters. Um, like I said, it's, it's just pretty much map, mapped out. You know what I'm saying? If you want to cycle through your layers, you can do that. Um, if you want the, your sample to play one shot and no on, you can do that. You guys should be familiar with that by now. But these are all the parameters right here. And this is pretty much how you create a Cree group. You know, you can... all over the keyboard works with any sound over here filters 
you know, if you want to add a little cutoff or mess with the envelope, the, you know, depending on how your sound is. And over here, you know, you can add insert effects. Everything is pretty much just plain and simple. You can cut it on or cut it off. It's, it's just that simple. So this is how you create a key group program. Rate, subscribe. Um, and if y'all ain't got it, MPC Renaissance, <laughs> you got to get it. You got to get it. Peace.